So hello everyone, welcome back with another video of Salesforce Geek channel and in this video we are going to cover the new setup of sending email from Salesforce Flow. So the very simple topic, how to send email from Salesforce Flow. Now the reason why I am recreating this video because the video that I created earlier is completely changed. Now they introduced a lot of updates in send email action. The complete UI of Salesforce flow got changed. A little bit functionality also got changed. So in this video, we are going to talk about those changes, how you can basically send a very quick email from your Salesforce flow. So the scenario that I'm taking today is really simple. When a case is closed, you need to send an email using dynamic subject and body created with flow resource. Like in this example, we are not going to use template and that use that template into Salesforce flow, but using a very simple flow that doesn't need any uh, complex customization in order to send email. So what exactly I'm going to do today, I'm simply going to click on new flow uh, from the scenario you probably get to know which type of flow you need to create so first of all here you can see the screen is completely changed now it will ask you which type of flow you need to create so we need to create a record triggered flow and you can see the record triggered flow is displayed below which is in frequently used if your flow is not in frequently used what you need to do you simply need to click on triggered automation and then you need to select record triggered flow so see how the UI is completely changed within a year, right? So that's why it's really hard to keep uh, the content up to date because there are so many changes in every single release. So stay updated with the latest updates. So let's click on record triggered flow. And first of all, I'm going to use my uh, case object here. So object is case. When I'm going to uh, send an email when a case is updated. And the condition for the update is simple when status equals closed, right? Or if you don't want to use uh, status equals closed, there is one more thing that you can use. There is a checkbox field called is closed equals true. So whenever we are closing the case, right, this particular checkbox field automatically gets true, like the case is closed now. So in this, I'm simply going to use the second option because only when a record is updated to meet the condition requirement. If you select the first option, your flow will run every single time whenever the criteria is met. I'm simply going to select the second condition here just to be sure the flow runs only when we are closing the case here we need to select the action and related record because we are sending email so obviously action and related record option is selected if you want to understand the concept like why i'm not selecting fast field update why i'm using action and related record i will add those videos where i explain these concepts so you just need to watch these videos to understand the concept right now what exactly i'm going to do i'm going to use the send email action here so i will simply type send email here is the action that i'm going to select so see this action is now completely changed first of all i need to select the label so here i'm going to select let's say send email to customer contact now here we have the configure uh, recipient details so recipient addresses means a comma delimited list or a collection of the recipient email address right so we need to provide a email address over there to whom we are going to send the email so here what i'm going to do i'm simply going to type case because on case we have a contact id and here i'm going to select the email like whatever the contact is selected over the case to the same person we are going to send the email as well right if you want to uh, add someone as CC, you can mention their email here. Or if there are multiple persons, what you need to do, you need to create a collection of email. What I mean, collection of text and use that particular collection over here. Similarly with BCC. So CC and BCC is just uh, whether you want the recipient of your email to be hidden. So you need to use BCC. And if you don't want to do that, you can just uh, go ahead with CC as well. Now configure sender details. 
uh, we need to select sender type. So here is the I button. Whenever you get confused in these terminologies, yeah, right? You just need to click on the I button and learn about it. What it is? The type of sender that send the email valid values are current user, default workflow user, and org wide email address. The default value is current user. So I'm fine with the current user. I'm not going to add anything over here. But if you want to send the email with the default workflow user or let's say org wide email address, you need to mention that over here. Then uh, sender email address, the organization wide email address that sends the email required only when sender type is org wide email address. So if you pro select org wide email address over there, then you need to provide the email address as well. So simply here you can see, I selected org wide email address over there, then I need to select the sender email address. So that's what it means. But if I use current user, I don't need to provide sender email address because it is anyway going to take with the current user and obviously current user is by default if you don't select current user over here it will automatically take current user now see how things got, got changed here configure email content like you need to provide you need to select here whether you want to compose email content over here or you want to use the email template so in the starting of the video i told you i am going to use the simple uh, send email action that's going to send email to the client or let's say customer so i'm not going to use use email template i'm going to create a separate video for that so meanwhile i need to create a subject to make the subject dynamic what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new resource that is going to be a text template and let's say api name is email subject and here i'm going to type or let's say case dot number your case the case number has been closed right this is the subject that i want to add over here i will keep it done right i added the email subject as well and now the part of body so now i'm going to again type uh, the body like earlier what i need to do i used to create a text template for body as well but now it is providing me a UI where I can directly enter my message. So obviously it's a good one. We don't need to create a new resource uh, in order to store the dynamic body. So let's say hi and then I'm going to add case triggering case dot contact dot first name. So let's say hi first name your case then type triggering case dot case number. has been closed as you raised this case on case dot created date right i hope your query has been resolved if not simply reply to this email so this is just a simple content that i added over there right now what i want is rich text formatted body so yeah i want that so i'm simply going to add true i want rich text formatted body whether you want to use line breaks so let's true as well if you want to add some attachment you can add the attachment id over here if you have multiple attachment you can provide the collection of attachment as well so these are the some inputs which I'm going to create a separate video to explain in more better way. So this is going to be a series of videos that you can watch in order to learn how to send email from Salesforce flow. Now again recipient ID and related record ID. These are also some different options which I'm going to teach you in the next video. So this is the basic configuration that you need to do in order to send email to anyone from salesforce flow right now i am sending this email to a customer contact so i am going to simply save this flow let's say send email to customer poc point of contact and you can add the description as well uh, like what this flow is actually doing and simply going to hit save 
so let me just activate this flow in order to test it because I am doing this in my uh, developer edition orgs that's why I'm doing this so make sure you are into sandbox don't create flow in production because I see a lot of client of mine as well and I do flow consultation as well right so that's where I came to know people are directly creating Salesforce flow in the org and that flow is a record triggered flow that can easily manipulate the data over there so please avoid that let me just activate it now I'm going to click on home or see if I have any case available to me so yeah I have a lot of cases that are available to me so what exactly I'm going to do I'm going to open any one of them let me just move into details so right now you can see the account is Burlington Textile Corp of America and the contact name is Raman Prakash right so what I will do I will simply change the contact email I will move to Raman Prakash and change the email to my email just for the sake of testing so let's say and hit save now that's it let's move back to the case and try to refresh the screen so you can see email is changed now and what I will do now I will move this uh, case to closed so let's say status closed and hit save so this case has been closed now I just need to check whether the whether I received an email or not let me check spam so here you can see I got the email in my spam folder so first of all you can see we have these paragraph HTML tags in our subject so we need to correct that but how we can do that I will let you know but for now just check out the email so here you can see hi Raman your case has been closed as you raise this case on this particular date and time I hope your query has been resolved if not simply reply to this email so this is a very basic email that I added now you have a doubt like Shubham how to correct this so there is a hack actually that you need to do in your Salesforce flow go to the resource that you created called email subject click on edit simply copy this subject and select here view as plain text let me just paste it again and hit done save as new version hit save because we already uh, activated our flow so it would be created as a new version this time so let me activate the newer version now let me move back to the case and change the status to let's say escalated let me check the value of is closed so here you can see is closed values also has been reversed to false because we changed the status now let me just change the status back to closed again and hit save so this time as well we will receive an email because we met the conditions so let's move back and see I do receive the email and this time you can see your case has been closed yeah you can try this and let me know whether you learn something new from this video in the next video you will see the next features of send email action like how to send attachments how to log the same email and how to use the email template as well so that's it from this video thank you